Okay, so quite a few years ago, I converted a lot of my tapes and vinyl over to MP3 uh, to be able to have them on my phone. And I thought I'd see what sort of job the Pi would do. Uh, this is the sort of thing I used years ago, an old capture card. And this had a load of inputs, optical, coaxial, analog inputs, but none of this is gonna work with the Pi. So I've got to use something a bit more modern. So I've got my 99p sound card, which I've had in other videos. Uh, which is decent, but um, but not great. And I've also got this uh, device, which I can't remember. I'm going to try and have a look for a, a link and see when I bought it and how much I paid for it. But basically, it's got a USB mini in, and then it's got optical in and out and various different analog inputs. Uh, and that plugs into the Pi. Both of these sound cards are recognized by the Pi. So this is plugged into my turntable. Plug that into the microphone socket on this 3D sound card. And this blue one plugs into the microphone socket as well. It has got a line in, but for some reason I couldn't configure the line in to work. But the microphone seems to be working as a line in socket anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. So you can see my turntable at the top, which is a Sony PSJ20, uh, which I've, I've had for quite a long time, but I bought it second hand off eBay. Uh, and the cassette deck is a Pioneer HX Pro, which was £25 uh, from a, a local sort of charity shop. And I've got a few of my old records to try. 7 inch and a 12 inch and weirdly in here I've got uh, Blue Monday as well I can't even remember when I got this um, but it's not it's not in English well the singing is um, but it is a floppy vinyl now they always were terrible quality um, but I thought I'd do it on the test anyway because it's interesting and I've also got Rick Astley's hit mix which you can actually see through <laughs> it's so thin Okay, so this is Ubuntu 20.04, uh, and this is the version that I've got loads of distros in, so I've got loads and loads of apps. I actually installed 10 different distros into one Ubuntu, uh, but it still didn't come up with Audacity, the one I wanted. Uh, so I had to go into the package manager, uh, which was Muon in this case, uh, and I did a search for Audacity. There you go, and you can see that it's installed on here. Uh, and it seemed to install all the packages. Uh, I remember on PC years ago when I used Audacity to archive a lot of my MP3s, it didn't install the lame MP3 encoder. This did all of that, uh, all within this install. It just uh, picked all the bits that needed to go with it. So let's close that down. Uh, you also have controls, and I've just been into this to change this, so I'm not gonna change it again. Uh, but for the green sound card that I'm using, the cheap 99p sound card, uh, you can see input device, microphone audio adapter, and I've changed the volume so it's on this level. Seems to be working on that, so let's open up Audacity. And hit record. Drop the stylus. You can see at the top right, it's peaking just under zero, which is what I want, so it's not going into any distortion. Although again, this is a 99p sound card, so we'll see what happens with that. So let's stop that. And I'll play all these at the end. So now I'm gonna switch sound cards and I'm gonna plug in the blue one that you saw in the intro. So if I unplug this one, I'm guessing I can just unplug it anyway. Okay, so blue sound card plugged in now. Uh, if we go up to the settings, which is really easy to get to on Ubuntu, you can see down the bottom, line-in device, and I've got a few different options here, but line-in device is what I want. And it actually looks like it supports optical digital in. I might have to explore that in another video because uh, I'm not really set up for that today. But uh, but yeah, that's, that's interesting as well. So line-in, uh, you can see the volume. I've already changed it a little bit to try and match the output of the other green card sound card so that it's a fair test so let's open up audacity hit record drop the stylus now i can't hear this i think there is a way of monitoring the sound uh, whilst you're recording although i can hear it coming from the record anyway um, but uh, i'm just going to let it record so we'll explore that as mp3 just the same as we did on the other one uh, and we'll change the name it lets me change at the top here to 
blue so I know which sound card it is. Hit save. Not bother with all the extra bits. So we've got two files here. I'm going to pin that to the favourites so that I don't have to keep searching for that again. Yeah, you can hear the tape, <laughs> tape is a bit worn. Okay, so I thought it'd be interesting to try and transfer one of these tracks over to my phone. I don't know if this is going to work, but uh, let's try Wi-Fi transfer. So I go to a browser, in this case Firefox, and I put in the URL that's on the screen. I think that's it. So upload video audio. So let's browse for a track. So let's get uh, in excess Sneezy tonight on the blue one. Hit open. And upload. Yeah, looks like something's happened. Receiving complete in excess blue. So let's go back in excess blue. So this is on my phone now. You can hear the crackle. I've got my phone right up to my microphone. Yeah. So you can also transfer it to your phone. I mean, if you've got an Android phone, you would just put it on an SD card or, or do some sort of file transfer, but iPhones have not been the easiest to transfer music to, but uh, with uh, Flack Player you can see that it works fine. So that's something else to add to it. So I hope this helps. Uh, I found it an interesting project, although it's going to be a nightmare to edit because I've got so many variables to it. But uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.